Hi all, let's jump into a live demo of one of the key features of AG2 0.6 release, Real-Time Agent. Welcome to Agentic Airways. Please wait while we connect your call to the AI voice assistant. Okay, you can start talking. Can you please provide more details about your request? I would like to cancel my flight. Your request to cancel the booking has been noted. I can assist you with canceling your booking. Could you please confirm which flight you are asking to cancel? Flight 123. You've confirmed that you'd like to cancel flight 123. Just to confirm, you're asking to cancel flight 123. Is that correct? Yes. You've confirmed that you want to cancel flight 123. I'll go ahead and process that cancellation for you. Thank you for confirming. Would you like a refund for your ticket or would you prefer to receive flight credits? Flight credits. You've chosen to receive flight credits. I'll proceed with processing that for you. Your flight credits have been successfully processed and will be available in the next 15 minutes. If you have no further questions, I will consider this case resolved. Thank you for reaching out and have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a great day. Great. That's a real-time agent in action. And that agent brings real-time voice APIs to an agent within AG2, allowing you to converse with your workflow. In this demo, we've used OpenAI's real-time API to help a customer with their flight inquiry which was managed by an underlying swarm of agents, taking input from the real-time agent and working through the swarm flow. The workflow was triggered by the customer calling into the airline help desk via their Twilio dev phone. As the customer talked to the real-time agent, it output the transcribed customer requests, and this was then dealt with through the swarm. The real-time agent then used the messages generated in the swarm to respond back to the customer, allowing a two-way conversation that's powered by the workflow. Let's have a look at how you can run this demo. This notebook is available on the AG2 website. As we're dealing with voices and voice traffic, we need to install AG2 with the Twilio Extra. There are also a number of steps you'll need to do in order to use Twilio, including installing the Twilio dev phone and possibly setting up an ngrok tunnel to your development environment. See AG2's blog post on the real-time agent for more detailed instructions. Then we set up our LLM configuration, in this case, two of them, one for the text-based swarm agents and one for the real-time agent using GPT-4O's real-time preview model. Here are the prompts for our agents. The context variables, the triage agent prompt, which utilizes the context variables, and some functions for our agents. Here are our swarm agents with their system messages and functions. And for the flow of the swarm, here are the handoffs between agents. Now, we can set up our fast API server to accept the incoming call from Twilio. We'll need a Twilio audio adapter to manage the connection and voice data from Twilio. And finally, we can create our real-time agent, passing in the audio adapter, real-time configuration. We associate the swarm with the real-time agent by using the register swarm function, and then we run the agent. And that's it. You'll be ready to go with your own real-time voice agent. We're continuing to refine the real-time agent and introduce new audio adapters and support for other real-time APIs so keep an eye out for regular updates to our real-time agent. Thanks to the contributors and collaborators that made this release happen.